Hi, I'm Tavis Standen and welcome to the Standen Report for February 2019. We're coming to you today from the Little Red Robin restaurant in Lane Cove, a chic new restaurant offering diners an intriguing experience. If you're looking for an exciting place to explore the culinary riches of the Mediterranean cuisine over a glass of fine wine, then drop by and meet Alessandro and his team here at Little Red Robin. Now, the property chat at Open Homes this month has been all about the imminent state and federal elections taking place in March. I was recently asked by a client if the upcoming elections could impact the property market. And the answer is absolutely yes. In fact, that impact is already being felt by many jittery buyers and sellers alike. In part because they are hesitant about committing to a purchase or sale due to the uncertainty surrounding changes to negative gearing, interest rate speculation, tightening of mortgage and credit conditions, all contributing to a possible slowdown in the property market. However, the election is not the only event destined to change the property market over the next 12 months. Research tells us that the property decline experienced in 2018 is continuing and the results of the Royal Commission into the banking and finance industry sectors, along with almost zero wage growth and discouraged foreign investors, are just some of the influences directing the decline in the property prices in some areas. Whilst political stability may be the outcome of the state elections in March, the threatened changes to capital gains and negative gearing and the final report from the Royal Commission may see the federal government adopt most, if not all, of the recommendations. And more significantly, mortgage brokers may lose their trial commissions. That is, their annual fee paid to them by the clients over the lifetime of the products they offer. So what does that mean for the average borrower? Well, if mortgage brokers are denied the remuneration, and remember, they account for almost 60% of mortgages currently brokered, this may reduce competition, allowing the banks even more control over lending. As a lifeline, the Reserve Bank may choose to cut the interest rates for the first time in three years. Historically, if the RBA does cut its prime rate, it is likely that more people will borrow to buy property and mortgage holders could see their monthly repayments significantly reduced if the banks do choose to pass on these cuts. Noticeably, of the 521 auctions held in Sydney last week, 61% of properties exchanged. That was up from 54% across 322 auctions on the previous week. Reductions in the price of properties for sale are often the result of extended days on the market, and these price drops are encouraging sales. That's a positive sign ahead of the expected late summer and autumn auction peak season. There is more good news for the economy around employment growth with New South Wales experiencing the lowest unemployment rate on record. And also, there is a strong contribution from the resource sector. Compared to the same time last year, the number of new listings on the market is down. But this selling season is now gaining momentum. Like most regions of Sydney, the Lower North Shore property market has had reasonable activity for the start of the year. At Standen, our agents have listed plenty of new properties for the start of the year. And we are experiencing an extremely high level of inquiry from new buyers in the market. At Standen, we're always here to help, and we would welcome a conversation on your property requirements. I'm Tavis Standen, and we look forward to a discussion with you about your property requirements in 2019.